Hello everyone. So we'll start with um, some of the guests that we have got here. Some of the people who oppose hatred. We've got all of them here. So we'll start and we'll have a few uh, people join us. So we'll talk. Everyone's going to give a quick introduction of why they oppose and what's the promise all about, inshallah. And slowly with that, we'll make our um, calls stronger from there. So I'll give you a quick brief what's happening. I'll give you a quick development and the action plan that has been taking place. The moment Australians came to know that this guy by the name Tejasvi Surya, who is a sitting Indian MP, a politician, is visiting Australia, immediately the first people to reject, the first group of people to oppose him were the Indian diaspora here in Australia. So the Indians overwhelmingly oppose and reject Tejasvi. So that's the first thing that everybody needs to be aware of. And this Indian diaspora includes, it's interesting, this Indian diaspora includes Indian Muslims, Indian Hindus, Indian Christians, and Indian Sikh. Can you imagine? Every faith group opposes a single person. Why would that be? Because this person has spewed venom against every group, against every community. Let me give you a quick example of what he says. And these are the banners that you can read. His tweets, he's public about it. He's arrogant about it. And he's bold about it. And he is not stepping back from that. You can see many of the banners here has his tweet. And one of the statements he made, he said, he wants the Muslims and Christians to be forcefully converted to Hinduism. Can you imagine this religious bigotry that he is bringing to our country, Australia? So the first thing, as I said, Indian diaspora in Australia overwhelmingly refused and rejected him. We had, a, what, what you call is we had an online petition which had more than 5,000 Australians sign that this person should not be allowed to come to Australia. Now, another important point that I want to tell you. Who is running this campaign against Tejasvi? Now, this I would say personally, I'm here in Australia for the last 15 years. I've been involved in various activism and various communities and we have rejected racism. We have rejected fascism and we have rejected all hatred here in Australia. However, this very campaign against Tejas Surya is not run by one particular group or individual. That's the amazing part of it. It's not one group, it's not one person. It's the entire community. The religious groups, the students from universities. We've got academics, more than a 50 academics, writing to the university to stop and ban Tejas Then we had no less than 20 university student groups unitedly opposing and wanting to ban Tejasvi from entering the university campuses. Then, followed up along with the Socialist Alliance, who are always up front opposing and standing against injustice and standing against racism, they joined hands with. Then we also had the Green Senator, the Green MPs, making it public that the Green Party opposes officially. Then we had all the major Islamic organizations, such as Islamic Council of Victoria, we had EFIC, we had ENIC, all the major Islamic organizations oppose this man and do press releases. And then we also had the Hindu community, the Hindu organizations here in Australia oppose Tejas Week. Then we had the Sikh community, the Sikh community groups oppose Tejas Week. So all in all, I would say I have never seen so much unity, so much unified effort against a person of hatred of this nature. He hates and he abuses women. I'll show you two tweets of his. That he has spoken and written against women. He abused the Arab woman specifically. Then he also said that he does, he wishes, he wishes that there is not a day, there is not a day where 33% of women who are going to be granted, who are going to be granted reservation in Indian parliament he says, I do not want to see a day, I do not want to see the day where the women get 33% reservation in, in the Indian parliament. Imagine a man, and this is what God smacked me, a person who is born of a woman. How could he hate women and how could he hate the, the female gender so much that he wants to oppose them at every instance? He is an, an evidence of recorded misogynist. And this is what he wants to bring here to 
Australia. So that is why we oppose him. So I call once again the slogan that I want to do today. Tejas we go back. Go. Tejas we go back. 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 We do not want Tejas we to come back to Australia. We demand Australian government, Australian immigration, and Australian Home Affairs and DFAT to block this person from coming back to Australia because he attests to RSS ideology, an extremist organization banned in India no less than two times in its entirety of existence. Imagine he officially puts himself to be a member of RSS. I pass on to our guests now, Sue Bolton. Who's very well known, a very common face, standing against injustice. She has always been in support of any group, any community, any minority group that has been facing injustice. So I urge Sue Bolton.